All right. We're back again. My name is Mike Stout. And I'm a loser, Teal. <laughs> well, welcome back to Let's Play Developer, Let's Play Commentary, Developer Commentary. Yes. Uh, and we're here in Metropolis. If you don't name the title that, I will be severely disappointed. <laughs> Do my best. The, uh, uh, as I was mentioning before, Metropolis was the first level they ever did. And uh, yeah. if you stop in this in this little square here... Yes, uh, sorry. I must buy the blaster, because the blaster is amazing. It's rad, yeah. Yeah. One of the few weapons that's uh, as good as the wrench. Mm. I'm just kidding. Um, the, uh, so this opening view here... Uh, the, this was the very first thing that was ever done. Uh, it was a it was called a diorama. Basically, they just did the platform you're standing on, mm. and the geometry in the background, and it was running I think at you know 30 frames a second or something. Mm. And all you could do is pan the camera around, but that in itself was enough to sell Sony on the game. Really? Yeah. I mean, I'm not surprised because it looks gorgeous, just, but still. Yeah, I mean, they, for for a PlayStation 2 game, I'm, it's just about as good as it gets, you know. Yeah. Oh man, you gotta you gotta crank up all the ammo. Yeah, must must do that. Oh, uh, there's no auto buy. That's no, there isn't. No, it's no, it's because okay. So I've been playing the Ratchet trilogy on Vita because it just came out. Yeah. Um, and oh, is it good on the Vita? <laughs> Do you want me to list the glitches that I found? Because I noted them down just for you. <laughs> and they're not uh, they're not uh, glitches that are found in the original? No. <laughs> okay, nice. Ratchet 1, the bomb glove. Sometimes it doesn't work as a bomb glove. Sometimes it doesn't work and the water from the hydro displacer comes out. I don't know why. <laughs> of the bomb glove? Yep. It, the bomb just goes through enemies and water from the hydro displacer comes out. Don't ask me why that happens. I can't tell you, but that happens that's, sometimes. Um, that's crazy. Um, I think that's pretty much it for Ratchet 1. Ratchet 1 didn't have many glitches unless I'm forgetting something. Uh, I'm, sure gonna, I'm, I'm sure you're gonna. I'm sure you're gonna be delighted about this. Basic things, you know. Like, uh, remember? Did, I don't know if you saw the the episode we did on um, the HD collection where we talked about why some of the bugs might have been there. Yes, uh, yeah, because I, I, I'm not going to lie, I re-downloaded all the videos, so I had something to watch at night when the internet nice. was off. It was <laughs> it was awesome. It was a great five nights. I got through them pretty quickly. <laughs> well, that, thank you. Uh, I'm glad you liked them. Yeah, the uh, what, what, it, what we think it is is that all of the crazy hacks we had to do to make the game look this good mm. was what, what broke it, right? Yeah. Uh, and... Um, I don't think we did as many of them in the first game. Right. Because uh, we had twice as long to make that game as we did the other games. Right, I see. And when you're when you're running late, it's generally when you have to start making compromises and doing insane, crazy things. Okay. But we were doing the... Uh, uh, I remember Tony mentioned that we had to put all of the data on a specific part of the disk so it would load fast. Your right. We were However, we were definitely doing that on this. His page. tongue looks really weird. It's so definitely glitching. Else, let me see. Yeah, if it zooms in, look at his tongue. There's like a yellow line in the middle. I may be able to help. At least that oh, was. It's inside out or something. Ah, uh, it looks so scary. <laughs> oh, that's 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 pretty nasty. Why? I think uh, I think it's showing the back faces. Yeah, I think so. You're seeing the you're seeing the inside of his tongue. Yeah, possibly. Oof. Uh, general glitches throughout all three. Um, music cuts out a lot, and the cutscenes the cutscenes have terrible quality. Um, uh, right, this one you're gonna love this one. Uh, so, so I think I know why the cutscenes are low quality too. I can tell you about that. Okay, go on. Well, the the uh, so all of the visuals that are in the game engine mm. are. Uh, they, they can upgrade those because uh, when you look at it, you're looking at the same geometry that we made. You're just looking at new textures painted on right, top of it. Right, I see. The others are rendered. In, in the pre-rendered movies, they they didn't have the original files, so they couldn't re-render them. Right, I see. So I'm guessing they just had to use the same low-def movies. Yeah, probably. And, uh, and they probably weren't able to do any kind of up on them. Mm. Um, so... Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the Maktar Arena um, tractor beam section was yours, right? That was your area, right? 
Um, uh, and what game is that? Ratchet and Clank 2. Ratchet and Clank 2, the... the Mac Terminus, Mac uh, Space Vegas. Uh, I did one of the segments in that level. Yes. Yeah, I, I yeah. Track. you're gonna love this. The game crashes around that section in the Vita. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 100%. ask as the game just crashes, you get sent out. Don't know why it does that. Oh. Does that in uh, Jobo as well, which was Tony's level. He must be delighted. <laughs> and you, you can't get through... Uh, uh, no, you, you, can just... get, you can get through it. It just it crashes the game and then it reloads and it works the next time. But don't I don't know why. It just does. <laughs> but it, it's interesting. Uh, in Jobo, also, the, uh, the texture on the water completely disappears, so it's just black everywhere. Um, the enemies in the impossible challenge um, collide with each other and fly up into the infinity of space um, <laughs> and making it very interesting. Luckily, once they get too high, they just die, so it's yeah. not a huge problem, but it was still interesting to note. Um, well, the if game... They could, if they beaten the game, then they wouldn't have been able to ship it, so yeah. that's probably why yeah, they were allowed right. to ship that, yeah. That, that's very true. Um, the game does lag in areas like the flying sections in Ratchet and Clank 2. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, that, that's... Those areas, were, um, those areas were always a huge problem with frame rate, even in the PS2 version. Right, fair enough. Cause, it's because yeah. we're showing you the entire level. Yeah, no, I, I must say, when I played it on the uh, PS3 uh, about a few months ago, um, mm. once again, I... I noticed how just gorgeous it looked, seeing everything out in the open. So, it's this. It must have quite a lot to render at one at any given time. Well, it was it was a very difficult level to to make efficient because they had to. Um, mm. So, we had a system called the occlusion system, and the way that worked was based on where you were standing, it knew which objects to draw and which objects not to draw because it knew what you could see and what you couldn't see. Right. right? Uh, and that was all pre-computed. Like that that would happen, um, uh, you know, before the game was even put on a disc, we would compute how that worked. So we knew ev for every grid location in the, in the world, if you stood there, we knew what you could see. But when you're flying in a plane above the world, you can see everything. Mm. So we had to come up with new solutions for occlusion that would make it so that you know the the broad outlines would appear but the details wouldn't and that was very difficult to do and i imagine um, that system probably didn't work great when it was translated into the hd version because it was so special case you know mm. Fair enough. the um another one uh, uh the ace bunyan missions in the flying arenas um some of the rings disappear, because you have to go through 50 rings. Some of them disappear. You still have to go through them, but they're invisible, which makes oh. it pretty much impossible. Uh, it does fix itself by quitting and um, the level, like, flying to a different planet and then going back. But it was very annoying the first time when I had spent, I don't know, half an hour on this one, learning the, the path, and then I've got it nailed down. I'm ready. They disappear. <laughs> So that was that was annoying. Uh, that's a, that, that, it sounds like there's some sort of memory leak, like that something is uh, getting corrupted and then corrupting random. I mean, like um, the bomb glove shooting hydro deplacer water. That sounds like a similar thing. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it's basically, like the game's reaching for say the bomb, right? And it's getting confused and thinking it's reaching into memory and grabbing something else and just throwing it out there. Right. And it's miraculous that it doesn't crash the game 100% of the time. Yeah, that is pretty good, actually. Because there's another people... weapon it does something like that. The Bouncer. The Bouncer's normally the best weapon of the game, more or less. And it would be right. if it wasn't for the fact that half the time none of the mini balls appear at all. Oh, no. So it does nothing. <laughs> because the big ball it throws out does no damage at all. Oh. So no. it's disappointing. It took me forever to upgrade that. Yeah, that that uh, that's too bad because that's that part's really awesome. Yeah, it's it's a pretty great weapon. Um, the final thing for Ratchet and Clank 2, and this is probably the worst one, uh, okay. the health at the top. So you know how 
Um, it's on the blue uh, HUD, and it, the health are white, so you can see it very vividly. It's perfect. On the Vita version, it fades every five seconds from white to see-through, as in invisible. So at the point for five seconds where see-through, I don't know how much health I have left. And that's really irritating. Does that happen all the time? Every five seconds it switches out. So oh. if I go to look at it, like, I've been hit by three enemies in a row, I go to look at it, it's see-through, I don't know if I'm one hit away from dying, or five. Like, it's really irritating. Oh, it, man. The amount of times I panicked for no reason. It, it's, it's an interesting glitch. Oh, yeah, no! I've, I've just forgot a skill point. I've missed oh. a skill point. I'm just, uh, do you want me to go and get it? I have to jump from somewhere. Oh, it's yeah. fine. Yeah, basically you have to jump on to in, in between the legs of the statue of uh, Owl's uh, Robo Shack, and you get oh, um, nice. and you get. A, I can't remember what the skill point is called, but you get a skill point for it. I, I think there's a skill point for shooting down cars here, right? Uh, yes, I think ten of them. And the, actually, wait, no, actually, no, I don't think it is in this. Like, uh, or maybe it is. I don't know. Maybe there are four in this level because there's 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 that one. They're shooting down the blimp where you need the. Uh, Visible uh, gun, um, and you, there's one for um, blowing up the quark uh, statue uh, that you can't do yet. I think you need the visible or the rhino or the uh, just rocket the launcher. rocket launcher, which I forget its name right now. Yeah, you need that. But uh, I, can't, mm. I can't remember what the rocket launcher was. Wait, we actually Dev Devast Dev Dev the rocket devastator. Launcher. The devastator, yeah. In this game, we actually require you to use it, don't we? Like, uh, those towers in that Blarg place that you have to shoot down. Um... Oh yeah, no, that's true. Yeah, it's uh, visible more that. Yeah, you're, you're right. Tony Tony was able to beat it with the suck cannon. <laughs> oh, actually, no, that, yeah, that's possible. Yeah, because you, yeah. you suck up the mini, uh... uh yeah, you suck up the mini enemies and... Okay, interesting. But if you but if you run out of enemies, it's impossible. So you have to restart the level. So Tony Tony had to beat the game because every time you go to the vendor, it would crash. Is it technically impossible to um to uh beat the game with only your wrench because of that? It's supposed to be impossible. Uh, but if you get the suck cannon uh, and get past that one part, you can do everything else with the wrench. I suppose. I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. And I think he also had the bomb glove because you get that by default, yeah. right? Yeah. So yeah, he uh, he 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 ended up beating Drek with just the suck cannon and the bomb glove. Mm. Impressive. Uh, but, yeah, it was. Uh, we were all impressed because we didn't think it was possible. Well, I find the fact Definitely possible. It's not easy. <laughs> Drek had only gone in maybe a week before Tony did that, so for a lot of us, we were barely able to beat him. Still. Oh, he's so hard though. <laughs> Tesla Claw is a good way of killing him. So is the Blaster. So is the Devastator. Everything else is useless, pretty much. Yeah, no, yeah. Nothing will I touch him. I used to just go on the grind rail and devastator him, then get yeah. ammo, go on the grind rail, devastator him. Mm. Uh, the only other glitch I've encountered, I've finished all of uh, Ratchet 1 and 2, 100%. I'm currently in the process of doing 3. Um, I've uh, Dax, the uh, boss, the ship. That, yeah. you know how it used to teleport through a void and then appear somewhere? It doesn't do that anymore. It sort of just disappears in a flash <laughs> with no animation whatsoever <laughs> so yeah, I, think that, I think that effect was a shadow volume effect and it this looks really cool <laughs> yeah the, these uh the the game doesn't have shadow volumes because they're using real shadows ah okay like they actually have lights casting shadows like modern games do right instead of uh, what we did was there's an invisible set of pill shaped and sphere shaped uh objects that are running along with Ratchet, right? Except they're being projected down onto the floor. Right. So they move like Ratchet does, but uh, we make it look like a shadow since we're warping everything 90 degrees down. In, uh, in this game that we're playing right now, that's not happening. It's an actual shadow from an actual light. But right. that system was what we used to make a bunch of the cool effects starting with Ratchet 3. I just thought I'd show off where I was looking down, there's a gold hole down there. Oh, oh it's Helga! Yeah, it's Helga. Oh, I miss Helga. 
Did we ever tell you her name in this we one? The circuit, um, no, I think she was just the training course lady. Yeah, I don't think she had a name. I uh, we brought her back in uh, in Ratchet Three and gave her a name because she was so rad. Yeah, but and I don't she, think she's she also in she's also in Deadlock to that cutscene, isn't she? Oh, I don't remember. I think, you know, I think they reference her. She marries one of the um, Deadlock's bosses. Just like, oh, she married it for its money. And it's the same with, um, oh, some of that. Or, no, she trained one of them. And it's Courtney Gears who marries one of them. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I haven't played Deadlocked in about eight years, so I can't really. I never beat Deadlocked. Really? I only played about half of it, yeah. Uh, at that point, you know, I'd been working on Ratchet for four years, and they just switched me over to Resistance. Right. Like, Doing anything ratchet like just made me nauseated at that point. Right. So I I played through about half of it with Mary, but I just had no desire to play through the whole thing myself because I was like, yeah, it's a ratchet game. I know how to play a ratchet game. Mm. It's unspeakably difficult to spend four years working on the same franchise. <laughs> yeah, I I can imagine. I didn't actually. That's wild, you know the. Uh, oh god! <laughs> I thought, oh, wow. I thought I was dead. Okay. <laughs> so go that's on. Too bad. That's gonna make fun of you. Yeah. Well, you can in a second. I have a story about that save file. But <laughs> um, what what save well, file? You, you, right at the beginning before we started recording, I saved over a save file. Um, on my channel, I have a series called Until I Die, where it's as simple as it sounds. I play a game literally until I die. I'd stop and then I play I move on to the next game. I have beaten two games in that series without dying. I am super proud of that, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but with Ratchet One, I ended up uh, getting to um, Batalia, the uh, planet after uh, Quark's home base, the uh, war planet. Um, yeah. And I died stupidly by, uh, I, I needed health desperately. I was like, maybe there's health down the secret path. I was like, okay, there's some crates here. I'm gonna hyper, I'm just gonna hyper smack them with the wrench because the wrench does everything you need to. And right. I didn't notice there was a very small gap and I fell straight oh, through oh. it. Oh, so, no. so that ended that. But I also did Ratchet Free and I got to Dax, which is really far, may yeah. I say. That's like 10 planets in. I have to go through Tyrannosis. I also went down the super difficult path uh, with all the um, with all the robots first, which is really brutal, may I add. <laughs> like, it, and I got through it without dying. I was super proud. And then, who made the hyper shot? Because sometimes you use the hyper shot and mid shot it just cancels out and I fell to my watery oh. demise. Oh, that was what did it for you? Yep. I, and I, I went, I thought, okay, I died, but I want to just, I, it was just before the boss, I want to see if I beat this boss. If I beat this boss, I'll be annoyed. And I beat the boss. I was like, God damn it. <laughs> I would have cleared Dax. Oh, man. So, who made that? Because I'll send them a very well worded rant. So, the Dynamo? Wait, what? what, what uh, it's, it's Dynamo slash uh, Hypershot. Let's see. I think right. the hyper shot was Roberto. Roberto. <laughs> who we've never been pin a bug on, but if since it was in the HD collection, it wouldn't be his bug anyway. Ah, uh, okay, so it's out of lines. <laughs> yeah, it would it would be a, a new bug. Like we wouldn't be able to pin that on him because. Uh, okay, I don't mind. No game, we could pin it on him. Fair enough. I don't mind. Words. Mm. <laughs> Actually, the Vita version, I believe, is actually mass media, not Idle Minds, because their logo is, doesn't appear. So I'm going to presume that any glitches are by them. Okay. So. I wonder which version they ported, if they ported the... I don't know. The originals, or if I, they, they probably ported I, the PS3 version. I don't know. I will say this, though. Uh, something I did notice. Honestly, if the glitches didn't exist, it would be the best version to speedrun, because the cutscenes appear and like that. There is no delay. As soon as you get into a specific zone cutscene, instantly, nothing. Then oh. the loading times between levels are really short as well. It's really quick, because I, I understand, at least I think I do, because say it's, say it's the HD version, they just, uh, uh, they would have scaled it down so that it's not fully HD, but nice enough for a Vita. But Probably. because they've scaled it down to look that way, they've basically got They've been able to reduce the loading times, presumably. I assume that's why it is. 
and it it, it so, does look really nice. Because there's uh there's there's like three things you're loading when you're loading uh like the art in a level, mm -hmm. and one of them is the textures, right? So if the yeah. textures are huge, that's gonna take a long time. Yeah. Oh, there was something I forgot to mention about it. Um, you know when you see the plumber in the Valis, um, outside the window you can see the uh, city burning. Um, uh -huh. You can't really. You see the window reflection magnified a hundred times, and then little trails of smoke, and that's it. <laughs> Out in the beta version. Oh, really? If there's yeah. no. <laughs> there's just reflection of a window and smoke. So looks well, looks good. The, even in the PS3 version, the the transparency stuff wasn't working very well. Oh really? Yeah, uh, like uh, Nefarious's head in Ratchet 3. Uh, you'll notice that his face is sorting on top of the glass helmet. Yeah, yeah, I didn't notice that. Yeah, like we noticed that whenever effects or certain things would get, like um, transparent effects, weren't sorting correctly when they were between things. Mm. Uh, and we're not, we 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 don't know why that's happening in the new version, it, but it it you know obviously it's a newer bug, so that could mean that they they had the same problem, you know, going to Vita. Right. Fair enough. So when when we're done with this, uh, go stand by the vendor and look towards the 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 little gun that's shooting things in the distance, because I have a story about that. Okie dokie. Can do. Uh, Aridia, everybody. We didn't. Uh, we didn't oh yeah, sorry. It. This is Aridia. Sorry, I was telling my own stories. You, you, you tell yours now. <laughs> the uh, uh, planet Aridia. This was this was around at the, when I started, but it, it didn't have most of the gameplay in it yet. So it was it was very, it was empty for the for a large part, and then got filled in shortly after. So uh, you see that gun in the distance? That's uh, yeah, that shooting. that huge thing. So there's two things I want to tell you. One, the bullets that it's using are actually robots. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, we yeah, it is. Of... It's the fire extinguisher robots. Yep, we, we ran out of memory in this level for bullets. So they oh cut my the gosh. and just shot out a robot because nobody can tell the difference <laughs> unless you're looking. You, you can if you say it. Because once you said that, I was like, oh, I know what robot that is. I recognize it. It's the ones yeah, over there. <laughs> exactly, right? Oh, and, my uh, God. Yep. The other thing about that gun was originally that gun you were supposed to get there and it would shoot you up to a spherical world. That was going to be the first spherical world in the Ratchet that and Clank. A, that is a cool idea. But we had to cut spherical worlds. We just didn't have enough time on the first game. That's why uh, they came in for the second one. And was there going to be an animation of Ratchet breaking his neck as he smashes into a planet? <laughs> well, you would hope so. Because there, uh, okay. there was the... I can't remember what it was called. You mentioned it in a stream of mine. It was the weapon that blew up everything like a nuke. The cutscene gun? Yeah. Yes, the best weapon ever. Why? <laughs> why couldn't that have been put in? Well, I mean, it's pretty I mean, Okay, no, it's obvious why, but why? <laughs> it's the... Yeah, I don't think you mentioned it on this channel. Do you want to, or do you not want to go into it? No, that's fine, yeah. I mean, it's... Uh, uh, what... So, remind me again, what am I talking about? The cutscene gun. <laughs> The cutscene gun was an idea that some of us had that we never really thought would go in the game because, you know, it's so improbable. But the idea was you would uh, you'd press the firing button and then the, the screen would flash white. And then you'd just hear this, like, really, you know, uh, very emotional music, you know, like, Raptors! Dominus! And you'd see, like, an, a nuclear bomb going off, like, real-world footage. And like an old Indian woman crying, and like you know, just like a a guy riding around in circles on a tricycle, right? And then it would fade back in, and Ratchet would be standing on this little tiny island, maybe about as big as he was, and the whole rest of the world would just be gone. And the only way to proceed would be to reset the game. That so that was the cutscene gun. It's it was just best how gun. can we make the most epic gun? It just destroys everything, and then you can't play anymore. Uh, I just got a skill point for not touching any of the floor there, but oh man, I love the idea. Man, I hated that skill point because I had to it's test. So it. easy, but you did good testing. <laughs> it, you, it, whatever problems there were, you made sure that you found them. Because yeah. in the beta version, actually, it, it glitched on me at first. It, uh, it didn't work the first time, and I definitely didn't touch the floor. So well, I was like. Trust after, uh... The Trespasser was a huge source of bugs. Was that uh, by, I want to say his name's Tim, Tim Trespass? Is it Tim? No, it's uh, not going to be Tim. It's not Tim. Tim didn't do the Trespasser, no. Uh, really? 
Although that was it, it, is, it, is his name Tim? His name is Tim Trespass. Yeah, yes, that, sorry. <laughs> the person who did uh, the person who did the trespasser was Peter Hastings. Okay. Uh, was and it I named think after he, him. No, he uh, but he did he designed it. I mean, he was a programmer. He designed and programmed the trespasser. That was all wow. him. One hundred percent Peter Hastings. Uh, what was I saying? Uh, we were talking about cutscene gun, and then we were yeah. talking about oh the, the trespasser. Yeah, trespasser. You know that bit where you 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 use the trespasser and it kind of auto walks you into place and then he sticks yes. the trespasser. So that little sequence was the like you could bug <laughs> everything with that, right? Like we would the easiest way to do it was that you know it shouldn't be in the game anymore, but you'd fire off the visibon and in the one frame where it was transitioning between ratchet shooting and you going into first person. Damn it. <laughs> Press, press triangle to get on the, uh, to, to do the trespasser thing, and then all of a sudden all hell would break loose. Like, right. you'd just be able to screw everything up. So I'm trying to break your games. Well, it looks like we're done with this level. Yeah, and this is a super long video. Uh, so for developer commentary, I'm Mike Stout. And I'm Teal, the loser. Teal the loser, I guess. I guess, Teal, I guess for now. Teal Game Master, the greatest Let's Player on YouTube. Let's put it that way. Yay! So we'll see you guys next time. Teal, Mary says hi. Hello, Mary. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good, how are you doing? I'm, I'm good, thank you.